I'm just actually wondering, I've always wanted to time travel and I thought if somebody in the future, like maybe in a million or thousand years, could figure out how to build a time machine, then why can't they come back to 2014 and then show us how to build it? I think we agree on this. It's, uh, no, you can't travel into the past. I'm certain of that. Well, I don't know about whether there's an arrow that prevents you from going to the past or only into the future, but um, mathematically, I think that there are many, many possible answers to these questions. You know, if you take just a, a three-dimensional cube and you look at one corner of this three-dimensional cube and then you compress one corner down to the diagonally opposite corner, then what you do is you flatten the cube and it becomes a hexagon. If you take that structure, which is hexagonally symmetric, it turns out um, that these types of symmetries are in crystals and there are a very few number of these regular symmetries that are exhibited in crystals in two dimensions. Now, if you think about increasing the number of dimensions, now go to three, four, five, six, presto, around seven and eight, there are exceptional new structures that come up that only exist when you get to seven and eight and maybe nine dimensions. We're living in what we think is a four dimensional world where time is one of the dimensions, but there are many, many possible structures in many, many dimensions which could give rise to time travel if you knew how to navigate around the symmetries. First of all, it's certainly true to say that in, in Einstein's theory, where you've got four-dimensional space, then, then you're prevented from travelling back in time, actually by the speed of light. It, fits into the geometry in that way. Mm. Um, you're, you're right, though. You can imagine t wormholes and these ideas that you can tunnel through and take shortcuts. It'd be like going from London to Australia by going through the Earth rather than around the two-dimensional surface on the edge. So, you, But uh, I've heard uh, Stephen Hawking has a, a thing called the chronology protection conjecture. Which, and the conjecture is, from a physics perspective, is that, as you say, it seems to make no sense. It's not a way to build a universe to allow you to be able to travel back in time and, and prevent your parents from meeting before you're born or whatever you do. So, so there's a conjecture that the laws of nature um, will always be such that time travel into the past is forbidden. Now, that's a conjecture at the moment. It's certainly it's true in what's called Einstein's special theory of relativity, and it might be true or not in his general theory. We're not sure because you can have these shortcut things. But most, I, I think most theoretical physicists would say, we think, we'll conjecture, as Stephen Hawking does, that the physics protects the past.